Could you please introduce yourself in the course you teach? My name is David Revere and I teach MCB 317 Genetics and Genomics. Can you give a brief overview of what is covered in your course? We cover everything from basic genetics, Mendelian genetics, all the way up to modern genomics and genomic analysis, uh, including how people differ from each other and uh, complex traits, traits where multiple genes contribute to a single phenotype. That's fundamental to understanding things like cancer. We then go into molecular genetics and a lot of molecular genetic technique and technology and how it's used for all sorts of things from understanding basic biological processes to medicine. What kind of background knowledge does a student need to take this course? You should have MCB 150 and 250. 252 are the prereqs. Um, however, there are some students that have successfully taken 317 and 252 at the same time, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you needed to. Uh, how do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, scientific advancements? Oh, genetics and genomics is basically fundamental to all medicine, both in terms of current research, in terms of dissecting, you know, what processes are involved in cancer, and all sorts of other genetically related diseases and it's absolutely fundamental it's the foundation for the basically personalized medicine that's what personalized medicine is is analysis of your genes and how you differ from somebody else and how we can use that information in a medical setting so it's it's basically fundamental to the future of medicine what other classes in MCB go well with the content you are teaching uh, there are several classes that could potentially complement uh, our class. One would be MCB 400, uh, cancer cell biology. Uh, immunology would be good. That's a, in the sense that it completely complement, or it's very different than what we are, but it would be a good complement for students interested in med school. Um, MCB 480, cell signaling would be good. MCB 410, developmental biology. Uh, all of those work well with. 317. What should a student do if he or she is having trouble with your course? Come and see me. You'd be surprised at how many students that are in trouble don't come and see me. Um, <laughs> it's again like personalized medicine, it's personalized academics. If you've got problems with this course, uh, your problems may or may not be unique to you. And the simplest thing to do is sit down with me and figure out uh, strategies for how you can do better and we'll try and identify what your particular weaknesses are and go from there.